Thanks to Martin for all those races from Charlton. We off to the Hunter Chasers now at Kingston Blunt. Uh, it's a two mile two Hunter Chase. So one is one Desta Fable, Darren French. One of these times is now Obi One, Caulfield, Alex Cherry, Black Ascoli, Martin Leadham, Commemoration Puzzle, Stu Gray, and Modine, Alex Cherry. Six horses in this race from uh, Kingston Blunt. Martin will be back after all the Hunter Chasers for the final race of the day, the Triumph. But away they go, yeah, and the borders hoping the Hunter's Chase at Kingston Blunt and Wondesta Fable for Darren French has gone to the front from one of these times is now for um, Obi-Wan on the rail. Uh, Black Ice Coley has actually jumped up into the front, but it's pulling very hard. Then comes Modine, Caulfield behind that, the two Alex Cherry horses uh, in fourth and fifth position and the back of the field commemoration puzzle for Stu Gray. But it's one of these times is now. Obi-Wan has won the battle for the lead and quickly got about three lengths get a bad mistake in second by Modine. Also Wondesta Fable wasn't very clever over that fence. On the rail, a Black Ascoli is in third. Uh, Caulfield is in fourth position. Uh, one Desta Fable off the mistake has dropped to fifth and at the back of the field commemoration puzzle for Stu Gray. About four lengths off the main body of the field as one of these times is now. Jumps the next, uh, gives it a lot of air. And second, the second is Black Ascoli for Martin Needham. One Desta Fable moved back up into third with Caulfield and Modi and the two Alex Cherry horses together and commemoration puzzle at the back of the field. About uh, eight lengths off this leader and Obi-Wan's one of these time is now jumps to slowly and we're forward there. Modi is gone. Alex Cherry's Modi is gone at that fence and we've looked at the five horses in the hunter chase here at Kingston Blount and one of these times is now and those yellow colours is the leader for Obi-Wan from Black Ascoli for Martin Needham in second. Then comes Caulfield for Alex Cherry followed by One Desta Fable for Darren French at the back of the field commemoration puzzle for Stu Gray is about uh, six lengths off the main body of the field and the jockey in no hurry on commemoration puzzle though still a long way to go as one of these times is now another slow jump by the leader and Caulfield has moved up onto that one's quarters for Alex Cherry then comes Black Ascoli for Martin Leadham followed by Wondesta Fable and commemoration puzzle at the back of the field you have to say that none of these horses are jumping that well so we'll be surprised if we have another faller they will get over that okay uh, it's one of these times is now which leads from Caulfield, who's on the outside of Wondesta Fable. On the rail is Black Oscoli and those red colours. And uh, Commemoration Puzzle is in danger of getting uh, out of um, using touch of the field. It's about six lengths or seven lengths off the main body of the field and about ten lengths off the leader. And it's one of these times is now is still the leader for Obi-Wan. Leads from Caulfield in second. Then Black Ascoli. Uh, for Martin Needham, they're followed by Wondesta Fable and Commemoration Puzzle is a long way off them at the back of the field and he's going to really have to start doing something to try and improve from there. It's one of these times is now for Obi-Wan who leads from Caulfield in second, then comes Black Ascoli with Wondesta Fable on that one's outside and Commemoration Puzzle seems to be struggling at the back of the field with six furlongs left to travel. It's one of those times is now for Obi-Wan who still leads from Wondesta Fable in second, Black Ascoli He's always been on the rail. Then Caulfield for Alex Cherry and Commemoration Puzzle is a long way off them at the back of the field and we pushed along now. One of these times is now for Obi-Wan, still the leader. From Wondesta Fable in second. Black Ascoli, always been on the rail, travelling comfortably for Martin Leadham. Then Caulfield for um, Alex Cherry and we can forget about Commemoration Puzzle. I don't think he's got any chance from there. One of these times is now. And Wondesta Fable's gone. Wondesta Fable's fallen for uh, Darren French. Made a lot of mistakes but now Caulfield comes to the front for Alex Cherry and it's Caulfield the passes one of these times is now Black Ascoli when the push comes to shove has got no answer to this uh, quick move from Caulfield and Caulfield jumps the next well for Alex Cherry with three phones left to travel now Black Ascoli's jockey starts to get serious to drop close down the deficit Caulfield has quickly opened up a four length lead over Black Ascoli in second one of these times is now is trying to rally back in third commemoration puzzle is totally out of it it's Caulfield in front for Alex Cherry Black Ascoli is getting closer for Martin Lee and then one of these times is now who is rallying for Obi Wan but they have Caulfield Got first run of them, but yeah, comes Black Ascoli for Martin Needham. One of these times is now is rallying for Obi Wan. It will depend on the jump of the last French. Caulfield was slow, and one of the Black Ascoli goes to the front. One of these times is now is not going away, but Black Ascoli always travelled well. And it's Martin Needham's Black Ascoli who's going to win the border open Hunter's Chase from one of these times is now in second. Caulfield was back in third, and those were the only three finishes. So Martin Needham who picked up some. One is at Charlton them yesterday. One the bread and butter race here. The hundred chase with Black Ascoli. One of these times is now. Very game, Obi-Wan's one is in time is now. Rallied when passed and finished second. And Caulfield blundered at the last fence to finish back in third for Alex Cherry.